Hi everyone, it's Mr Bartle here and welcome back for another week of home learning. Now I hope you've had a really good break over half term where you've had the chance to have lots of rest, play lots of toys and really, really enjoyed yourselves. So whatever you did, I hope you had a really good time and now it's time to get back into our home learning. Now I know some of you might find it tough after having a week off to get back into things, but fingers crossed, home learning won't last for much longer and we'll be back at school before we know it. Now, the first thing we're going to do this morning is our super sentence. So let's get going. Now, this week, our super sentence is down to you because I would like to know what you got up to over half term. So I'm going to tell you what I got up to over half term and then it will be your turn. So this week, our super sentences might look a bit different. So my super sentence is going to be I played with Lego. So I'm going to write that sentence for you and just show you how to use your phonics and finger spaces to write a sentence. And then it will be your go to write your very own super sentence this week about something that you got up to over half term. So the first word in my sentence is tricky word I. I. Now I'm going to leave a finger space for my next word, which is played. So I'm going to use my phonics and work out what sounds I can hear in played. P -l -a -d. Played. I wonder if you can spot the digraph in that word. Can you find the digraph? There it is, the A sound. OK, so if we were sounding out played again, we would say P -u -a -d, played. I played with. So let's think about the sounds that we can hear in with. So again, I'm going to leave a finger space and write the first sound in with, which is w. The next sound is i. And the last sound in with is quite tricky. It's a digraph and it's this sound. Can you remember that one? It's made up of the letters T and H. So again, I'll pop my sound buttons in so you can see. W, i, v with. I played with, oh, I'm going to up level my sentence and add another word in. So I'm going to say I played with my and my is a tricky word. So in goes my. So we can't sound out this word. We just have to know what it looks like. So there is tricky word my. I played with my Lego. So I'm going to leave a finger space and I wonder if you can tell your grown up at home what the first sound in Lego is. That's right, it is ul, and it's a long ladder letter. Ul, e, g. And if I'm using my phonics, the last sound in Lego is o, o, o which is made up of the letter O and A. OK, that's how we spell phonics. That's how we spell Lego using our phonics. Now, if you already know how to spell the word Lego, you might want to write it like this. OK, you may have seen this spelling of Lego on your toys at home, and that's OK as well up to you which one you want to use. But normally, when we're trying to sound out words, we use our phonics. OK, just like that word there, Lego. I hope you enjoyed my super sentence, everybody, and we'd love to see what your super sentence is going to be for this week. So if you'd like to write it down and send it into Tapestry, we cannot wait to see it. Now, I hope you have a really good day of home learning. Remember to check out our home learning page where you'll find lots of videos and you'll find out what our new topic is going to be for the next couple of weeks. Uh, that's it for now. So I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.